Hi everyone and welcome back to the healing bench. Today we have this hair dryer that was given to me by a neighbor to check it out and try to fix it. The complaint is that it doesn't work but they also mentioned, I don't know if you can see it here, that this could possibly be an issue with the cable because it's pinched here and the insulation is stripped. We'll see the wires look as if they are okay, but we'll see if that's the case or not. Now, I think that the issue will be more than just the cable because if I plug this in, I don't know how much you're gonna be able to see this with the lights on. So let me turn off the lights. If I have the hair dryer in the off position, there is a slight glow from one of the LEDs here at the beginning, but when I try to turn it on and go through the speeds, nothing happens. So because of that glow, uh, I think that the cable might uh, be just okay. And we probably have an issue somewhere inside. So let's first deal with the cable and then we'll move to opening this up and see if there is a problem inside. And before we start with any disassembly, I want to thank today's sponsor, which is PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop solution for all your manufacturing needs. PCBWay offers top-notch PCB manufacturing and assembly services, ensuring high-quality circuit boards for your projects. Their expertise also includes 3D printing, CNC machining, and sheet metal fabrication to cover all of your manufacturing needs for your projects. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, PCBWay has the tools and expertise to bring your ideas to life. From prototypes to mass production, they've got you covered. At the moment, they are running their 7th project design contest with a focus on STM32 projects, where you can submit your electronics or mechanical project ideas and win up to $1,500 in cash and a lot of other prizes. Visit PCBWay from the link in the video description to get a welcoming bonus for your first project. Yeah, so I strip a bit more of the insulation. I can definitely tell that the cable is quite all right, so I won't cut into that. I'm gonna open the hair dryer and check inside for continuity before we cut this through and uh, apply some more insulation. Okay, so that was definitely not an easy thing to pull apart, but before I dig any deeper, I want to just confirm that the cable is okay and we have continuity from the lead from the plug here. So I have my meter to continuity and one of the wires comes here. No, and the other one comes there. Hold on. No. Okay, so this one comes, but not this one. looks a bit twisted here let me check that again yeah I'm gonna pull this PCB out to see what's underneath it okay so the LEDs and this is where the neutral wire comes in yep it 
seems that we do have a broken wire. Well, it's not the brown wire as I thought, but the blue one instead. So the brown one is here. It goes through the switch and then comes to this board. But the blue one, which is typically ground, it's not. So let's see where it's broken. Now, since we already have this broken off here, let's finish the job and see if we're gonna expose anything else. And to be honest, I don't see anything wrong with the wires here. And yeah, let's try and just pierce it. Oh, you know what? Let's cut it. Okay, so let's see, do we have continuity from here to here? Yes, we do. And do we have continuity from here to here? No, we don't. Okay, that's actually a good sign. That means that we have a broken wire close to the plug and we can just replace this plug with some other and we should be good to go. I'm gonna remove this label now. Let's try and follow the wire to see if we can reuse the plug or we will need a new one. Yeah, so I came to the end of the cable and we still don't have continuity. So I'm gonna deem this one an I'll go and we'll try to find a replacement. Okay, so going through my parts bin, I found this. So it looks about the same thickness. And if we use the meter, we can confirm that this one is in continuity and there is no continuity so let's replace with that one Before I go in, add some strength to the wire, let's go and double check that we do have continuity now. That's okay. And that's okay. So, we're good now. Unfortunately, I messed up the shot with the assembly, but everything went smooth. And here we are with the final result. Okay, so final test. Let's plug it in, we see the light. And that seems to work. And if you like this video, I'm gonna ask you to hit the like button below. If you're interested in seeing other videos where I repair other stuff, make sure that you check this playlist. That's the Healing Bench playlist. And I'm gonna see you all in the next one. Cheers.